Hello and welcome to another VectEasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be working with shapes inside Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with the built-in shapes you can build right from Adobe Illustrator. Go over to the toolbar and click on the rectangle tool and you can hold the mouse down and get a menu of additional shapes Illustrator has built in. So we see rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and the flare tool. We'll simply click on the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on our document. You'll see it fills with our fill color and it's been created with multiple points. You can then go to the Direct Selection tool, or the white arrow, and modify any of those points to further manipulate its shape. There we go. Let's look at the Rounded Rectangle tool. I'll simply select that from the toolbar, and then create a rounded rectangle. You'll notice that the curves are already put in there for us by Illustrator, but again, using the Direct Selection tool, we can go in and actually modify any of the curves and adjust them to our liking. You can also use the regular selection tool, or the black arrow, to resize any of the shapes you've created. So I can drag one of the corners, or one of the sides. Let's go and look at the ellipse tool, or the circle tool. You can simply select that from the toolbar, and drag a circle into your artboard. If you hold down the shift key, you'll be able to draw a proportional circle and make it perfect. And just like our other example, you can use the direct selection tool to go and click on any of the points and modify the curve within the circle. Now let's look at some of the more complex shapes in Illustrator. That includes the Polygon tool and the Star tool. If we click on the Polygon tool and simply draw a polygon on our artboard, you'll see we can rotate it to land on the artboard in the direction that we want, and you'll see it's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Let's say we want to create a polygon with a different number of sides. Simply click one time on the artboard. That will pop up the Polygon Controls pop-up window. Here is where you can control how many sides your polygon has. Let's go ahead and make an 8-sided polygon. You'll see Illustrator has automatically created the polygon for us, and then we can use the Selection tool to move the polygon or scale it to our liking. In a similar fashion, let's go and look at the Star tool. We'll click one time on the document, and we'll be presented with the star options, where we can select how many points we want to have on our star. Let's choose five, since that's a standard star. But let's say we want to add more points to our star, and maybe create something like a starburst. We'll simply go back to the star tool, go to the artboard, and click somewhere one time. Then we'll enter in a number like 50, which will give us a large number of points. That's perfect. Now look at this starburst we've created very quickly, right within Illustrator. Now let's say we want to create a custom shape with an Illustrator. We've downloaded an application icon here on the left that has a compass, and you'll see at the top of the compass we have this very interesting shape. You'll also see on the artboard that we've drawn some rectangles and a circle. Now what we can do is merge those shapes together to create an all new shape within Illustrator. So to do that, I'm going to just move each of the shapes into the approximate location that I see on our icon here that we're using as an example. I'm just using the selection tool to drag these uh, shapes that we've already created on the artboard and try to recreate an approximate um, look of the top portion of this compass. Now you'll see I've got a circle and I've already ensured that it's the exact same width as our square that it's going to go on top of here. So I'm going to release that and then I'm going to use the shift key and move it down exactly into position here so that it creates a round bottom. At this point, we've more or less created the same exact shape, except for this middle portion that we'll cut out. And to do that, I'm going to go back to the toolbar, select the ellipse tool, and hold the shift key to draw a perfect circle, and put that nearly in the middle of our shape. Then I'm going to go back to the direct selection tool, and deselect the shape altogether. Now at this point, all of the shapes are individual items within Illustrator. We're going to need to find a way to merge them together and cut out this middle circle that we've created. To do that, we're going to use Illustrator's Pathfinder features. Those are found under the Window menu, and then go to Pathfinder. That will open up the Pathfinder panel, where you've got many options when it comes to merging shapes together, pulling shapes apart, and separating items within Illustrator. The first thing we're going to do is select each of our shapes other than the circle that we're going to cut out at the end. So to do that, I'm going to click on the first rectangle, hold the shift key, and select the other elements that we've already drawn. Now we're going to go over to the Pathfinder window and use the Unite option, and that will merge all of those shapes together into one object. And there we go. You'll see now when we click 
off the object and click on it, it selected the entire thing because now it's its own shape. That means we can resize and manipulate the proportions of this shape. The final step in creating our custom shape is to remove the smaller circle at the bottom, which is still here when you click, you'll see that. What we'll do is select on this particular ellipse, then we'll again hold the shift key and select our new shape that we've created so they're both selected. Then, instead of using the unite mode, we're instead going to use the minus front mode. And when we click on this, we'll see that Illustrator removes the path that was on top, which is our smaller circle. So now when we click off of our shape and select the shape again, you'll see we have an all new custom shape built right in Illustrator. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your creative journey.